deep so in forget there. about Columbus remember Velasquez it's morning had a good night's sleep and uh, I've already been up to the terrace to do uh, 20 minutes of yoga oh what do you think capitalism would do to this stretch here uh, is there any big secret what capitalism would do to this particular stretch here this little guy has adopted me he's followed me for the last Half Columbus. Kind of gives me the shivers to think that this cross goes back to Christopher Columbus. Stopping at Guantanamo on the way to Baracoa from Santiago de Cuba, a five hour trip. Guantanamo, of course, made famous by the U.S. military base that's located nearby Guantanamo Bay. In the mountains. La Farola, the road inaugurated by Che Guevara in 1965 that connected Guantanamo with Baracoa on the far eastern end of Cuba. Baracoa, Admiral Christopher Columbus landed here in 1492, founded as Cuba's first city in 1511 by Spanish conquistador, the governor of Cuba, Diego Velasquez de Cuellar. Velasquez, the Spaniard, who came after Columbus and who really settled Cuba with seven what they call villas, B-I-L-L-A, villas, cities that were established across Cuba. Uh, Baracoa being the first, the last one being Havana. So forget about Columbus, remember Velasquez, because he's, he's the one that really built Cuba. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, Cuba edition, vlog number 25, a new vlog published every Friday. This is the first of three installments of my visit to Barracoa. A good thing in Cuba is to have a Casa Particular in... Uh, Baracoa, and I'm at the Casa Particular Lester. That's the name of uh, the gentleman, Lester and Kathy. From across the street, Casa Lester, Casa Particular Lester looks like this, and uh, that's where I. That's where I had yoga this morning. Right there. Couldn't be a better place. Just doing the sun salutation facing the sun east. Lester works at the local chocolate factory that I like to see. Can't go in, but at least I like to see it from the outside. Kathy works at the local clinic. It's not a hospital, it's a clinic. For every thousand uh, inhabitants, they have a clinic, a neighborhood clinic. That's where she works. Really nice to have a rooftop terrace. There aren't that many that have it. As I look around, there's one over there. And there's one guy feverishly working on his in this direction. But they've done a good job here. The water tanks. Here's their construction material, well hidden behind plants. It's a very clean place. Here's a table if they have a large group for, for breakfast. And they're right by El Mar Caribe, the Caribbean Sea. Today is Tuesday, May 31st, last day of May. It's morning. Had a good night's sleep. My room, two, uh, two beds, only need one. Hope the mattresses are okay. This be a nice place to hang around a bit. Baracoa, I mean, not the room. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, I've already been up to the terrace 
to do uh, 20 minutes of yoga. Now it's time for breakfast at La Senora. Prepared a nice breakfast of eggs, fruit, uh, milk, coffee, chocolate. Her husband works in a local chocolate factory, so chocolate is big in this house. Bread, cheese and sausage, and uh, yeah, the ever-present fruit juice. And that's included in the price of uh, 20, 20 cook, which is uh, $20. But uh, this is sort of typical of every Casa Particular. There are beaches uh, in that direction. This is the main street. Hey, this is great. No problem with this. Caribe, the Caribbean Sea. As I showed in the uh, video yesterday, the most underdeveloped seaside road I've seen in my life. Uh, I'm on the waterfront in uh, Baracoa and uh, I notice its full potential has not been exploited. This is a seashore property. Unfortunately, Baracoa was not blessed with great beaches along here. It's all rocky, but the beaches down there, right there is the beach apparently. See? Beach all along there. More of this underdevelopment along the seashore. I imagine in different circumstances what this might look like. But, as they say, it is what it is. As I make my way through that. Seaside business that could really be booming, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> On the corner is a, a pretty interesting looking place called Rincon del Mariscos. Mariscos is seafood. Uh, Restaurante La Fortaleza, the fortress restaurant. And here is the main means of transportation for Cuba. Now I can't say the main means of transportation, but a major means of transportation in, in towns, cities. And I can't help but reflect on the on my own stupidity to think that oh what do you think capitalism would do to this stretch here uh, is there any big secret what capitalism would do to this particular stretch here i don't think so but this is the land that capitalism forgot it didn't forget it's creeping back in with the casa particulars the restaurants and so on and so forth. Seascape. Moonscape. Dogscape. This little guy. This little guy has adopted me. He's followed me for the last half kilometer. Hey, Pero, I wish I had something for you, but I don't. No bones, no nothing. Hey, Pero. Interesting uh, tidal pools. Wonder what he wants. Yes, the sea has not always been kind to Baracoa. 2008, Hurricane Ike. Biggest disaster of its kind in the last 50 years. October 2016, four months after my visit, Baracoa is battered by Hurricane Matthew. 
Hundreds of homes were damaged or destroyed by the storm surge, including 30 houses that were washed away. The coastal highway was completely eroded and made impassable. Incredibly, no lives were lost in either hurricane, perhaps a testament of Cuban preparation. View the destruction of Hurricane Matthew in the link I posted in the description. You'll be amazed. Speaking of amazed, right here in Baracoa in the cathedral is an artifact left by Columbus. The uh, cathedral is open. So where is that cross from the time of Columbus? Let's go find it. Can't be the one over the altar. Famous cross and uh, postcards. And uh, just over here. By the entrance is this cross, which is connected to Christopher Columbus. This was one of the crosses that he erected here in Cuba. The only one that's left, I think. Legend has it it was a lot taller, but people hacked away at it. It's now just a short little cross. Kind of gives me the shivers to think that this cross goes back to Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus, 1492. Thank you for viewing and join me again next Friday for another look at Baracoa. If you've made it this far in my blog, consider giving it a thumbs up. You don't walk home in uh, this place without getting across more dancing. Oh, oh. she's lifting her skirt. Oh no.